In this video, we will learn how to enter numbers in our Excel worksheet. We are going to enter more information about the books in our bookstore. Let's say I want to enter the year in which the books were published. So I'm going to click on cell C1 and I'm going to start typing the year in which the discovery of India was published. As soon as I entered the information, you can see that Excel did something different from what it has done so far. It aligned the content of the cell C1 to the right edge of the cell, whereas it was aligning the text values to the left edge of the cell so far, because these are all text values and this is a number. Excel is recognizing that what you've entered is a number and it aligns to the right. Numbers are aligned to the right by default and text values are aligned to the left. In most languages, you read from the left to right and so aligning the content of text values to the left uh, would make it easier to read. It's easier to read the numbers if it's aligned to the right. It helps us easily identify the large values versus the small values. Excel does this automatically but it's also very important for you to understand that numbers are aligned to the right and text values are aligned to the left so that you also are aware how Excel is treating the data that you are entering. Now, let's continue to enter the rest of the information in this column. Now that we have entered the information in column C, you can see that column B is not fully visible. As we have learned in one of the previous videos, we can go to the edge of the column label between column B and C and then double click the edge. And then now we can see the entire content of column B. And this feature is called auto fit. Now, before we move on to the next section, let's understand how we can quickly delete content in our cells. For example, let's say I want to delete the information in cell B3. I clicked on cell B3 using my mouse and then I'm going to press the delete key. Now the information has been removed. If you have accidentally deleted anything in Excel or accidentally did a specific operation in Excel, you can easily undo that by using the button here at the top, clicking undo, or you could also do uh, use a keyboard shortcut. So let me delete this again, cell B3, delete button, and then I can also use the keyboard shortcut control Z which will undo the last action that I did. So now let's move on to the next section where we will learn how to quickly navigate to the edges of the data using keyboard shortcuts.